Now, the latest on that deadly series of tornadoes that ravaged the Midwest. At least 88 people lost their lives across five states. President Biden is planning to visit some of the most devastated communities tomorrow. ABC's Elwin Lopez is in hard-hit Mayfield, Kentucky with the latest. This morning, the death toll rising. At least 88 lives lost across five states after the nation's deadliest tornado outbreak in more than a decade. At least 74 of those here in Kentucky the ages ranging from just a few months to 86 years old. Two-month-old Oakland Coon died Monday morning from her injuries. We expect that this death toll will continue to grow. Among those killed, eight employees at this candle factory in Mayfield, including 47-year-old Robert Daniel, 21-year-old Devin Burden, and 36-year-old Joe Ward. They were working the night shift when the twister tore through. What was it that you were hearing? Just fear. And death. That's what I was afraid. You know, I was afraid I was listening to people die. Charlotte Payne, a human resources generalist there, was trapped in the factory communicating through her cell phone and a radio. Her son and others racing to rescue dozens. We could hear him talk. He couldn't hear us scream. They started walking on top of us and we could feel stuff caving in. Father of two, Jim Douglas, was also trapped in the factory under 15 to 20 feet of twisted steel for four hours. Our David Muir spoke with him at the hospital while he tries to recover. If I can ask you, what, what do you remember? I could hear, like, some loud thumps that I, I thought was big hail or something. And then it's... It's like the roof, the roof lifted up, and I was right next to a wall, and it's like the roof slammed down, and then the, then the, the wall came down on top of me, hit, hit me in the head. Nearby, Charles Cook's home was wiped away. He, his pregnant wife, and four children under the age of 10 were slung into a field more than 100 yards away. It was almost like you were in a war where grenades went off. I remember the lightning, uh, the, the power flickering, and then it went off. And next thing you know, I felt suction, slipped, hit the ceiling, and I woke up in the woods looking up at a dark sky while it was raining. Covered in mud and with broken bones, his seven-year-old son Thomas woke up, grabbed his brother Daniel, and the two set out to get help. Their baby brother, found by a next-door neighbor, wandering about crying for his parents. Your children saved your life. Absolutely. Absolutely. What an extraordinary story there. Elwin joins us live from Mayfield, Kentucky. And Elwin, what are you seeing on the ground there today? Well, Terry, the destruction is unbelievable. I actually just spoke to the owner of this law firm. It's been in his family for several generations, and he tells me that they will rebuild right back in this spot. But I want you to take a look at what happened here. The side blown out, the staircase exposed, Christmas decorations still hanging, clinging to that staircase. And here, the piles of debris that we are seeing, this is what search and rescue crews are up against as they sift through it, trying to find anyone still unaccounted for. Terry. All right, Elwin Lopez in Mayfield, Kentucky. Thank you for your extraordinary reporting there. Thanks very much. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.